Thanks for watching this week's episode of Hill TV. If it is happening at Hill, we have it. Let's start this episode with Zoe, who will tell us about a lot of fun things happening at Hill next week. Hi, Zoe here with this week's Around Hill School. Everyone is probably excited for the next couple of weeks as we get closer to summer vacation. Wednesday, June 14th, we have we will have a short flag day celebration in the morning. Friday, June 16th, students will turn in their computers to the library. Fifth grade orchestra will end on Thursday, June 15th. In fourth grade, orchestra will end the next day on Friday, June 16th. On Monday, June 19th, we will not have school to celebrate Juneteenth. We have even more fun stuff coming up, but those are a few of the major happenings next week. Hello, Rose here with next week's weather report. Most of the week looks like it will be warm in the 70s with partly cloudy skies most days. Monday, we will have a temperature of 71 along with it being cloudy every day next week besides Friday. Tuesday, we will have a temperature of 73. Wednesday shall be 76. Thursday, cloudy and a temperature of 78. Friday will be the same as Thursday, except there will be a chance of scattered thunderstorms. Saturday is 76 and Sunday is 77. Thanks for listening. And now back to the studio. Hi, Kier here with the word of the week. This word is forsaken. The definition of this word is to abandon or leave alone. This word has been used in a lot of music, like you have forsaken my heart. You could say something like, my puppy feels forsaken every day that I leave for school and my parents go to work. This seems like a sad word, but fun to use in a sentence. Try using forsaken sometime today while talking with someone or writing. This is all for the word of the week. Now on to September with the book review. Hopefully it is a good book this week. Hi, Aubrey here with One Cool Animal. Today it is a crested gecko. They are really cute and cool. They lick their eyes to keep them moist. It's pretty cool. They also drop their tail when they feel threatened, so the predator will focus on the tail instead of them, but the tail can't go back. They also have little eyelashes. That, that is it for Cool Animals by Hill School. Hi, Maria here with another cool animal called the leafy sea dragon. It is a close relative to seahorses. The leafy sea dragon does not live in tropical reefs, but in cooler rocky reefs off the south and western Australia. This rare fish with its leaf-like fins is perfectly camouflaged among the seaweed. They are shy creatures that do not move fast, so hiding is important to their survival. They also lack any real way to defend themselves. They have no teeth, claws, or venom. That's it for this cool animal. We have two recent fourth grade Golden Stand Award winners that we have not recognized yet, so congratulations to Penelope Webster and Justin Doherty. Miss Mrs. Pompili says that Penelope has been working hard on her flute solo for the Solo Fest. She has shown determination and perseverance by practicing the difficult parts of her solo without giving up. Great job, Penelope. Justin has also shown persever perseverance with continuing to play his trumpet even when it, was diff even when it has been difficult. He has been working hard on learning the upcoming concert music. Great job, Justin. Awesome work to all our golden all of our Golden Sand Award winners. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Hill TV. If it